the MSI's titanium version of the GTX 1070 Ti. And the difference between this and just the normal red one, this one's like graphite color or something like that. I believe the only difference is it has extra heat pipes and since I'm going to be mining with it and I want to keep it as cool as possible, I opted for this one. I believe I got it for like $4.29 on a mass drop. So if this thing performs as good as my EVGA 1070 Ti's, the FTW2's, I might, uh, I might do a rig with these. So we shall see, but uh, here's a little unboxing. Okay, first things first, when I'm testing my cards, I like to make sure I have a true baseline. So what the, uh, basically what the PC pulls without the card hooked up at all. So as you can see, it's not hooked into the power supply. Riser's not hooked in. And the riser's not powered. So right now it's just the computer running at idle. And I'm using... That smart plug right there, I'll link it in the description below. Asus Prime Z72A, or Z270A. I got an AX1200i extra power supply that I just used for this test rig. This used to be uh, my 8X RX580 rig that I kind of just use as my test bench now. As you can see, I'm pulling about 30 watts at idle. So let's hook the card up and see how much the card idles at, and then we'll mine and see what we got for power consumption. So just about 38, almost 40. So idling without the video card is about 30 and takes, you know, 8 to 10 watts to just power the card at idle. So without the card, system idles 30. You got to account for that 10 watts. Um, so we're at 40, but I'm going to baseline at 30. So anything we mine after that is going to be considered our consumption per card. As you can see, I got the uh, wonderful Micron memory in this card. So it's not going to perform too well. Uh, 31.6, 31.5 on average when overclocked mining Ethereum. So no better than any run of the gun 1070. It's going to cost a lot more too. So I would not recommend buying this for Ethereum mining. Um, if we come over to uh, mining Zencash here, which is Equihash, you can see that at 60% power, this was at 250 memory, which was not stable. I had to back back to uh, 225. It was uh, about 4.4 souls per watt, about 480, uh, average about 479-ish. Um, and I bumped it up. It's probably where I would run it. would be at 70 power limit, right around 4 souls per watt and about 500 solutions per second. Um, but at these settings, let's see how many watts it pulls from the wall. You can see here with Ethereum you know, at 0, 0,656 and 60, I'm pulling 145 watts total. My draw, my normal PC idle is 30, so that's about 115 with GPU and risers to run the card. Um, I'm getting 1070s that I, I can run them at 100 or 110, so definitely not recommended for Ethereum mining. Um, as far as Equihash, though, we're getting... 
uh, 500 at four solutions per second and 480 at 4.45 solutions per second or solutions per watt. And um, temps are good. You know, the wattage draws about on par with the rest of the 1070 Ti's, but I'm going to be honest, this is still my number one favorite right here at about almost five. If I dropped the power a little bit, I could drop it to like 58, I think, and that would bump up, bump this up to five. And it's still around 500 solutions per second. So uh, poor performer among the rest of the 1070 Ti's that I have, you know, up till now tested definitely probably going to just resell this card not going to keep it but uh, there's my final review for the msi gaming titanium edition 1070 ti